Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the 1 kilowatt half bridge inverter design by using LT Spice. Okay, so I will explain I will explain you the circuit diagram, how it has been designed, and I will show you the different uh, waveform of voltages, current, signals, PWMs etc right so you can see here so this is basically you can see this is the power power drawn by this inverter half bridge inverter which is around 1 kilowatt okay so this basically this circuit is basically designed for 1 kilowatt inverter right basically basically uh, this design is made for educational purpose only this is not tested in actual production okay so just to educate how you how you can simulate your half bridge inverter by using lt spice right so you can see here uh, there is a source source voltage that is 200 volt here and 200 volt here that is 400 volt total but as you know already know your your in your half bridge inverter it has been split it has been splitted in the two form that is 200 volt half voltage that is if the vd sees 400 volt you have to split into two two voltages that is vdc by two okay so here you have 200 volt and here you had 200 volt this is VDC Y2 and this is VDC Y2 and you can see here I have used MOSFET N channel MOSFET to design to design this inverter maybe for better performance you can use here IGBT in place of MOSFET right so here two MOSFET M1 and M2 and these are the freewheeling diode D1 and D2 so as per your design requirement as per your design guidelines you can choose the rating of mosfet m1 and m2 and diode d1 and d2 okay and here you can see this i have r l and r that is rl load connected okay this is the rl load connected okay now let me explain you uh, this is this since this is MOSFET and it is voltage driven device you have to you have to apply some voltage source here some PWM signal here so let us say this is PWM plus and for this application I used 125 kilohertz frequency so let, let me show you the source here so if you click on it you can find the initial voltage 0 volt v on 10 volt delay 0 rise time 1 picosecond fall time 1 picosecond and t on is 0 0.004 millisecond and t period is 0 0.008 millisecond okay so if you calculate the frequency of this signal this is 125 kilohertz all right so this is the second signal uh, that is let me show you pwm minus and you can see v initial 0 v on 10 volt and it has been given after a delay of 0 0.00405 that means i have considered some dead time between high side signal high side pwm signal and low side pwm signal so you may have to find out the reason why dead time is important in half bridge inverter to to drive a mosfet why there should be a dead time in the mosfet gate driver okay so this is very interesting question you may go and find yourself right so for now i have considered some dead time between uh, pwm plus signal and pwm minus signal okay and uh, if you can see here this pwm plus signal uh, that is connected uh, here so this is positive side and this is negative side so so the ground of this voltage source is you may wondering why it's not here ground is not here like okay so it should not be here it should connected with the uh, with the here okay at this point and for the pwm minus signal your ground should be here 
So you can see net here. This is HS high side ground and this is LS low side ground. Okay. And another question which comes into the mind by looking this circuit is why I have connected ground here, not here. You might be wondering there should be ground here. Okay. But but for for this simulation, I have connected this. I have connected ground here. Okay, so let me explain you the reason why ground is here. So if this MOSFET is turned on, then the current flow should be like this, right? From V3 to M1 to L1 R1, and it goes to the ground. When this MOSFET turns on off and this M2 is turned on, then the current flow should be here, from here to here, and it goes to the ground so that is why now let let me show you the transient command so for this simulation i have considered the transient command here is 10 millisecond so you may also have okay at the end of the video i will upload this file into the google drive and i will share the link in the description section description section so you may go and download the the dot sc file and you can generate you can simulate your own inverter right so let me run the simulation here so i will run the simulation and let us first show you the voltage here so you can see this voltage is 200 right and let me show you the voltage here so this voltage is also 200 let me show you the two different pwm okay so just i want to tile window vertically right so that you can see the border view so this is the pwm plus all right and this is the pwm minus okay Let me show you the waveform here. A light. So you can see when this PWM is PWM plus is low, PWM M minus is high, and vice versa. When this is low, PWM plus is high. Okay. So this is basically a PWM signal. Now let me show you the voltage, how your output voltage looks like. So I will click it here and you can see here this is your voltage waveform right let me delete this now for now so your voltage looks like from minus 200 volt to plus 200 volt let me show you the current flowing through your bridge inverter so you can see here your current waveform that is superimposed in likewise okay so your voltage start from minus 200 to plus 200 and your current varies from let's say 5.7 ampere to here at the negative as well it is 4.29 to 9 ampere so you can see your voltage waveform and your current waveform now let me show you the power how much power is being drawn by this inverter okay so this is very interesting to know the power so i will hold control plus alter key and you can see here there is a symbol for power so let me double click on here and go back to the simulation window and you can see here you can see here now you have voltage there is three things this is the voltage axis this is the current axis right and this is the power axis if you want to see the peak power of your inverter you may click here and it is around 1.12 kw you can see here this is in the kw okay so so you can see the three waveform together right if you want to see in different different panel i i may show you but i just wanted to show the waveform together so let's i will show you the waveform in different so this is the voltage waveform all right you can see this is the voltage waveform now let me show you the current waveform all right you may see the current waveform let us 
show you the power waveform. To find the power waveform, you have to hold the Control plus Alt key in your laptop or computer and click on this here inductor and you can find the power. Okay, so you can see your voltage is square wave and it is it is varying from minus 200 volt to plus 200 volt. All right, you can see here this is minus 200 volt to plus 200 volt. And if you want to find out what is your current waveform, so you can see your current waveform is varying from plus 5.8 ampere and let's see here is 4.36 ampere and if you have a question in your mind why this current is triangular wave not a square wave so let me tell you the reason since you have your inductive load l1 here that is why that is why your current is a triangular if you you have only the resistive load your your current should be in the form of square wave right so this is basically a RL circuit, all right? This is basically a RL circuit. And at last, I will show you the, I will show you, right, the power. So here you can see you have a power around 1, 1 kW, okay? This is your power and this is something called your power and so there is some ripple, okay? So I hope now you are able to design your half bridge inverter by using MOSFET IGBT in place of MOSFET you can use IGBT and you you have to define your component rating as per as per your design specification as per your design requirement okay so I hope all is done now